Welcome to Kirkwood School District 6th grade science. I am Dr. McGee. This is Mr. Manwaring and here we're here to talk to you about energy transformations. Oh, transformers? Nope, transformations. More than meets the eye. That's Here's our right. goal. Uh, students will be able to demonstrate that energy can transfer and know all the different kinds of energy transfer that occurs within all parts of the circuit. And there's lots. There is lots. Yeah, what is this? Well, law of conservation of energy. We talked about this in chemistry, but basically we talk about energy can never be created or destroyed. It's simply recycled, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to explain your picture there? Well, I like the picture simply because um, it's just a, a PowerPoint slide that different forms of energy can be interconverted, Ooh. but can neither be created or destroyed. So the, the, the sum of the amount of energy in the universe is always constant. It's just being kind of converted from one thing to the next, okay? There so energy can really be two things. We've talked about converted, so that's changed from one type to another. Okay, but it can also be transferred. What does right. that mean? Like if I were to take this and uh, actually move from one thing to another. Okay. So the idea of looking at the picture of the old Newton, which I don't think it actually looked like that, but no. um, yeah, yeah, the apple falling on his head. Looks you know, a little that's... more like Benjamin Franklin with an apple on his head. Mm, it does. Poor that's Ben. Weird. Right. But an apple on his head. There you go. Um, now, just keeping this in mind, energy is required to do work. Okay? Without energy, any object would not be able to move or do anything or change the location or anything along those lines. Okay? Energy is required to do work. That's right. Okay? What are the main types of energy, Mr. McGee? There are two. First part is potential. Now, potential energy is energy that's stored inside of an item just waiting to be used. Okay? Often people say when you're really young, you've got so much potential. It's stored in there getting ready to be used. All right? right. The but, second kind is kinetic. Right, which is actually using that energy. Okay? Making objects do certain things. Doing work. All right? There are many other kinds of energy, but they all fit underneath that potential or kinetic heading. Okay, here's a list of them. You see some great pictures there. Let's highlight a couple of them. First of all, wind. Wind, we know, is energy that can, that is, that's, that's air moving. So that would be more kinetic. And sometimes the energy is actually takes several things mm. to happen. Basically, mm -hmm. you have a, a nuclear reactor. Which is right going, over here. Right, and basically what you see coming off there is steam. Mm -hmm. So that's actually steam coming off of a chemical reaction, which in turn is pushing something around. That's causing an electrical current. Very good. Okay. Now, if you want to really break this down, we think about how a monkey uses energy conservation or conversion. I thought we were talking about electricity. Well, this thing, it sort of fits. If you can understand this, it, it kind of relates to what we're talking about with circuits. Okay. Okay. So if you, get a, if you think about a, a tree gets its energy from the sun. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the tree provides energy to the banana by making a banana, and that gives it then to, to the monkey. Okay, I follow. Okay. The monkey eats that, converts that to his ability to use his muscles to do work and fly from one tree to the next. Okay? Energy yeah. conversion. That makes sense. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to do a little quick quiz. So pause the video whenever you're ready. Get yourself a little scrap piece of paper. I got mine right here. You got yours? Ready? I got it. Okay, well, let's do this. So is this potential or is this kinetic? Here's the first question. Food. All right, Mr. Manwaring's writing down his answer. Your answer should be nice. All right, let's go to the next one. Mm. Mm, this is a speaker. And you can see sort of sound waves coming off it. So you're going back to your sound unit. So we're actually talking about the sound waves, The sound right? waves, mm, right. Okay, is that potential or is that kinetic? Well, I think? know that they move, so I'm going to say. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, here's our next one. Oh, this is a little tough. This is the light. Okay, we're, we can talk about heat. We can talk about light. Whichever way you want to look at this picture and interpret it, is that potential or is that kinetic? Ooh, kinetic, yes, that's good, because the heat waves are moving, the light waves are that's moving. Right. All right, we got the slingshot here. Now, we're going to mm. say we're gonna say it's this instance right here where he's holding on to that, that little uh, BB getting ready to shoot it at the apple. What do you think? Oh, yes, potential, that's right. It's stored up, getting ready to be used. Last one here, this is a little tough. It's a little tough. I'm talking about the gasoline, the fuel. Is that potential? Or is that kinetic? What do you mm, think? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to say. Potential. That's right. There's energy stored inside that, which allows our car to move. All right? So that definitely is potential. Now let's get back to electricity. Let's talk about this in a circuit. Mr. Raymond, tell me a little bit what's, what's going on here. Well, what we have is if you look at the picture on the right-hand side there, you can see that 
we have light has to hit a solar panel, okay. which you might see if you look at a calculator or some mm -hmm. other little device sure, that uses sure. the light um, to turn on and off. And that energy from the light is being transformed into electrical energy through the cells. And it is actually transform, transforming, transforming into electrical energy going through the circuit as a result, causing the motor to turn, which and then we're releasing some kinetic energy. Right, some kinetic or mechanical energy because it's, yeah. it's a machine. So when you're thinking about this, when we go back to our goal, we want you to be able to look at a circuit and really identify all the different parts of things that are going on in that circuit, okay? So we've got solar energy coming in, electrical energy going through the wire, creating light, which of course is light energy as well as of course we know that light bulbs heat up. So there's heat energy coming off there as well. Being able to identify that is the most important piece to our goal here. Yeah, okay. well, in the case of looking at a battery and a motor and a circuit, we have the electricity flowing from the negative end of the battery. The battery itself is chemistry. It's got a little okay. chemicals in there. Right, it's chemical reaction taking Chemical place. reaction right. taking place. And it's creating an, a push of electrons through the wire. Right. Electrical which, energy. Right. Okay. Then we have the motor, which, which would be... To move. Right. Which is mechanical or, like we said, kinetic energy. So that's good. All right. So right here, pause the video. Got a picture. Write down all the kinds of energy you can see here in this picture. Write them all down. See what you can do. I play a theme song from a famous, you know, TV show, but I'm sure that that's copyrighted in some way, shape, or form. So just imagine that that song's playing. All right. Here's your answers. Chemical, electrical, sound. Or you could also say kinetic. Very good. Right. If we're talking about chemical to explain, what I mean by chemical energy, I'm talking about the battery. Mm -hmm. And then it's turning the energy, and that's what my little arrow is, changing the energy. I guess I should probably maybe use a little delta sign. There you go. Delta. Okay. Nice. And then electrical energy right. through the circuit board. And then it is whoop, upside down upside delta. Upside down delta. Yeah, Sorry. There you go. <laughs> and then it's turning into sound energy, which are little speakers showing us that. Right on. So... Practice with this. Draw a couple circuits. Can you label all the different things and the different kinds of energy? And can you create some of your own so you can name all the different transformations happening? All right? So think about great little picture. It's fun. It's like a you know, little elementary school picture, but it's still cool. You've got solar energy that changes into chemical energy inside the, tr the, the tree. Chemical energy and fuel that allows the kinetic energy of the motion of the car. Electrical energy can also be used inside of a furnace to heat up uh, to create heat energy or thermal energy. Being able to identify all those energy transformations that happen within a circuit is our goal. And just wrapping it up, what we wanted you to be able to do by watching, after watching this video is be able to demonstrate and show understanding of the energy transfers that occur within all parts of a circuit. Fantastic. See you soon. See Peace. Ya.